Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. For today's video we have an unboxing of a Agora beauty box. If you are new here, my name is Natalie. I post videos all about makeup and beauty. If you like what you see here today, I hope you will consider subscribing before you leave, but why don't we get started? So today's beauty box is from the brand Agora. I think that's how you say it. This is something that I did only hear about recently. I think I first heard of it from the channel Diary of a Beauty Geek. And Agora is a beauty app, which I do believe is only available in the Apple store. So if you have an iPhone or an iPad, you can get it on that, but I don't believe it is available on Android. It wasn't when I downloaded it anyway. And it is a beauty app that have an array of different things available to purchase. It is also a place to review items and earn coins and things like that. It is a great little app. So when you review something or when you purchase something, you earn coins and the coins can then be cashed in for beauty boxes or beauty items. I can link the app. I will try and do so in the description box below, but I think it is something you will just have to possibly go and search in your app store. I do actually have a refer a friend kind of code with them, which I believe will earn you something off your first purchase with them. I don't know if it's coins or you would get money off. That code is just Natalie YT. Again, I will have that noted in the description box below. But it is a fun little app to have a little nose around, even if you are just looking for reviews on certain items. With regards to the stuff that you can purchase, they did update the app in the past couple of months and there does appear to be more things available now. When I first got this app, the only thing that I could see available was beauty boxes. So they did have random edits of an array of different items which you usually had a saving of, which is one of the things that I'm showing you today. But now they appear to have individual items for sale from all different brands. It is the kind of brands that you do get in subscription boxes, although there are some more well-known brands on there as well. But most things you can get a bit of a discount on have purchased something from them in the past i think it was a mystery box which was just like five pounds or something and it did just contain one or two items they do have them available on the website and then they do have monthly edits too so you could kind of treat this as a subscription box and just purchase a monthly edit each month and i like the way they have a makeup edit and a skincare edit so you can pick and choose i haven't yet got one of those because I don't really need that kind of subscription box at the moment. I'm more into adding things to my collection that I know what they are because those boxes are technically mystery boxes because you don't know what you're getting up front. And I do believe each box is random as well. So I think if you watched someone's unboxing of, for example, the March or April box, if you then ordered that yourself, you wouldn't get the same things, but I'm not 100% sure on that. So the box that I'm showing you today is one I purchased recently, which at the point of filming is still available. And it is called the Love on the Skin Edit. And this one retails for £24.99 and it does have a value of £147. So really good value in that respect. So unlike the monthly makeup and skincare boxes, you do know up from what you are getting with these edits and they just tell you every item. It does also give you a breakdown of the value of each of the items contained in here and then obviously a grand total. So like I said, this one was £24.99 and it says it has a value of £147. Let me show you what was in this one. This is how they arrive with the Agora branding in the red box. That's how you can kind of tell the app as well. So the app icon is, I think it's a red background with this A in this font. So you know that that's the right app that you are downloading. Apologies if the lighting is a bit off. I'm filming in the day, which I don't usually do. So I can't quite get the lighting right, but we'll see. So the first item in this box is a gift set from Fenty Skin. This is the Fenty Skin Starter Set and it includes the Total Cleanser, which is a remover oil cleanser, the Fat Water, which is a pore refining toner serum, and then the Hydrovisor, which is an invisible moisturiser with SPF 30. I have only tried one thing from Fenty Skin and that was an under eye cream, which I do quite like, but these are a couple of the other products I had wanted to try, mainly the cleanser and the toner. More so the toner because I was intrigued as to why it was called fat water, but I hadn't realised that it was a toner serum, so that intrigues me even more now because that is kind of combining two steps in one, which sounds really good. And then the Hydrovisor, which is SPF 30. I do just use a normal kind of facial SPF on my skin, but this might be quite nice because it's combined with a moisturiser. So, so the Total Cleanser says it is hyper clean, soft skin without stripping or drying, daily cleanser and makeup remover in one. So that sounds good. The Fat Water says instantly refines the look of pores, reduces the look of dark, dark spots, even skin tone and fights shine without stripping skin. And then the Hydrovisor says light as air hydration, invisible sun protection, defends and brightens skin while reducing the look of pores. 
made with kerf or coral reefs does not contain oxybenzone or oxytoxinate use every single day no excuses i am quite bad at remembering to apply spf so hopefully this will help me and these are decent enough sizes to be able to fully test them out I have actually gone to purchase this set myself a couple of times because Fenty Skin is available at Boots and I had Advantage card points I could have used against it and this one is regularly on sale because Boots always tend to do either 15 or 20% off their premium beauty. So this one does full price retail for £32. Bearing in mind that the box is £24.99, even if it was just this product that I wanted in this box, I've got my money's worth because Paying £24.99 is still cheaper than the kind of 15% off if I would have bought it at Boots. So this was one of the main things that made me want to purchase this box. But yeah, really excited to try all of these products. And I've just realised my nail varnish inadvertently matches this packaging. The next item that made me want to purchase this box is something from Murad. This is the Resurgence Retinol Youth Renewal Eye Serum. I don't believe I've ever tried anything from Murad and that is because it is a really expensive brand. This eye serum alone is £73, so again, definitely getting the value out of the box. Even just these two products, there's £100 worth of value and I've paid £24.99. So definitely check out this Agora app because you can get some really good bargains. Obviously, if these products don't work for me, it's a waste of money, but still. So this one says it's a restorative retinol serum for under eyes and lids, which helps improve the look of lines, wrinkles and loss of firmness. Rapidly renews while being gentle enough for the eye area with retinol triactive technology. A fast acting retinoid, a time releasing retinol and retinol booster can be used AM or PM, gently pat around the eye area, including the eyelid. Although weirdly, it then says underneath warning, avoid contact with eyes okay but it is ophthalmologist tested and dermatologist tested so that sounds pretty good i have quite a few eye creams in my collection at the moment so i really didn't need another eye cream but i have been dying to try something from your ad and this sounded really good especially because of the fact it says you can use it on your eyelids i've been having issues with my left eye it seems to be postpartum where i'm getting a lot of dry skin around here I've had a couple of occasions where my eyelid has sort of got a little what looks like a blister on it which goes after a day never have any long-term issues in that respect but it seems to be when i apply eye cream on my eyelid it doesn't matter what eye cream i use it's just been a few occasions where it's kind of aggravated so with this specifically saying you can put it on your lids rather than just your under eyes Hopefully this one is gentle enough that I won't have that reaction, but obviously I will have to test that out. And now that I'm not pregnant, I can't use retinol products again, which is good. So really excited to try this. Yes, okay, I probably shouldn't open a new eye cream until I've finished the ones that I have open. But I do really like trying new eye cream, so I'm probably going to open this sooner rather than later. So like I said, they are the main two products that made me want to purchase this box. So to me, the other remaining two products were just a bonus. But one of the two products is something that I did kind of want to try, but didn't really need. So justified it with the fact of, oh, well, it's in this box. And that is an eyeshadow palette. This is from Morphe in collaboration with Jaclyn Hill and is the Divine Neutrals palette. And I do believe this isn't that old of a palette. And when it was first released, I was quite intrigued by it. But I did talk myself out of it because I definitely don't need any more eyeshadow. Here is the inside of the palette. It is a 12 pan palette. It does have some gorgeous shades in, and as the name would suggest, it's Divine Neutrals. Once I opened this palette, it did actually look deeper in person than I remember it looking online. But I feel like it is a good mix because you've got this half here that is lighter and this half that is deeper. To me, it does remind me of the shades contained in the Too Faced Born This Way Natural Nudes palette, which I do already own. So, like I say, I didn't really need this one. But I wanted to try the formula. I wanted to see if, because it was in collaboration with Jaclyn Hill, it was any better than the normal Morphe formula. The original OG uh, Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette is one of my all-time favourites, so I'm hoping it does have that good formula. So yeah, excited to give this one a go and see what it's like. And this one does retail for £18. And then the final item contained in this box is something from the brand Bye Bye. This is the Plumper and Buffer Plumping Lip Balm and Lip Scrub, and it says it's 100% natural certified, vegan and cruelty free. So it does contain two products here, which come in these little kind of slide out drawers. So the first one we have is the Buffer, which says step one, Buffer, sugar lip scrub with cinnamon and strawberry. Not a combination I'd have thought to put together. And then the Plumping Lip Balm with peppermint and blood orange. Again, not a combination I'd think to put together. Mixing peppermint and orange kind of makes me think of when you have orange juice and then brush your teeth. It's not a nice combination. So I'm intrigued by it, but 
I don't quite know if this is a product for me. At the moment, I don't need any more lip scrubs or lip balms. I do have quite a few in my collection. So for the time being, I'm not going to open this and I might pass this on to a friend. But it is a nice little kit and I do like that it has two products in one. It might be a nice little gift to someone, perhaps for say Mother's Day or something like that. But yeah, very strange combinations in my opinion. But that's the final product that's contained in this box. And this one also retails for £18. I have tried a couple of things from this brand. I think they were both facial oils and they were just okay. So that's why I'm not too bothered if I don't try this product and say I might just pass it on. So just to recap the four items contained in this box, we have the Fenty Skin Gift Set. The Murad Retinol Youth Eye Serum, the Jaclyn Hill and Morphe Divine Neutrals Palette, and the Bye Bye Plumper and Buffer Set. That is all four items, and I do believe this is well and truly worth the £24.99, even just for the Fenty Skin and the Murad products alone. To be honest, even if it was just one of those products on their own, it would make the box worth it. So, like I said, at the time of filming, it is still available on the Agora app. So if you are interested in any of these products, it is definitely worth a look to see if you can still get hold of this box. So that's everything in the Agora Love on Skin Edit box. Check the description box below for the details of the app and my referral link code. But other than that, that is it for today's video. If you did enjoy it, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you're not already. Thanks. Mm -hmm.